So there's actually been a pretty good handful of news coming out around Fallout 76 over the past week or so. None of the things individually really warrant a video, but I feel like altogether as a news update, there are quite a few interesting takeaways. So first and foremost, what is undoubtedly the biggest out of the bunch, Bethesda actually tweeted a in-game screenshot of Fallout 76. It's fairly simple, just of the crafting menu, but there's actually a ton of information displayed on screen and a lot of takeaways from what you're seeing. This is seemingly going to be the newly introduced ammo craft crafting workbench because we are seemingly crafting all types of ammos. From the different ammos we do see here, it confirms a lot of various weapons. I won't read them off, but I'll show them on screen. Many of these did appear in Fallout 4 and are seemingly making a return. Obviously in the center, you do have paddle ball string, which will likely correspond to a kind of trolley paddle ball that you could probably get. And also flares are pretty interesting. Obviously the flare gun was in Fallout 4, but the major value it brought to the table was the fact that you could call Minutemen reinforcements. No human NPC in Fallout 76, what is going to be the real value of the flare gun? Is it just going to do 10 damage like it did in Fallout 4 when you hit somebody else, or is it going to get some kind of new functionality? And outside of that, I would actually highlight that they include a value as you craft an ammo. What does that actually correspond to? I would assume NPC vendors, but does that mean that Bethesda has kind of done away with the perk system where you'll actually get additional perks and it'll give you better trade prices? That's something we've seen through like, I think all three of the modern Fallout games at this point. You of course will also be able to trade ammo with other players, but it's kind of assumed that you'd be able to set prices yourself unless maybe you're locked into selling it for one cap. I'm not sure, but either way, we'll find out the real answer in a few weeks, and I just think it's particularly interesting they decide to include that statistic as you're crafting the ammo itself. Outside of that, we could see what is probably going to be one of the first quests, find the overseer's camp. They mentioned in the past that the first few quests you do experience are actually going to be looking at clues and details the overseer of your vault has left behind considering they left before you did. But I also wonder if maybe the kickstart of this game's story is actually trying to figure out what happened to the overseer of your vault. Finding somebody is a pretty big theme in like all of the modern fallouts. You had to find Sean, you had to find your dad, and you had to find who shot you in the head. And that's typically what composes the first hour or two of the story. With Fallout 76, the first hour or two of the story could be finding your overseer. And even beyond that, the supply drop. This one's more interesting. Is it going to be a supply drop like PUBG? That's kind of where my brain goes instantly. They've talked about server-wide events where basically all the players on a given server will be alerted of something happening. Is this an example of one of those? It certainly be a central point for PvP to occur, but it also could be something totally different or even unique to this individual player. And then finally, gunpowder is going to be a new crafting component used in creating ammo. In the past, they've actually talked about how certain large deposits of gunpowder would be guarded by large creatures or an enemy of some kind. So if you actually clear out those creatures, get access to that large deposit of gunpowder, you could sell a lot of bullets for a considerable profit. It's just kind of an overall perception. The UI on this one looks particularly clean. I definitely don't like what I'm seeing. Moving on though, we also got an image of Mothman. Basically, Mothman's festival was this past weekend and Bethesda was there in force. We've seen teases of Mothman in the in-game trailers for Fallout 76 and in even one of the cartoony trailers, I speculated that this was Mothman also. They've said how Mothman's gonna come in various stages and and forms, and it looks like we're seeing one of the later stages or forms in this particular image. And you know, looking at this, it, it really does look like a moth. Like, the Bethesda artist that designed this actually did a really good job. I don't know if I've looked at too many moths up close, but if I picture a moth, I'd kind of think of something like this. Outside of that, we got to look at some of the various weapons and armors coming with this. We've seen a lot of these before. The only one that I think is new is your trusty Vault 76 Canteen. Otherwise, we got the MG42 that we've seen a lot of, the Fire Axe that we've also seen a lot of, and it looks like a laser rifle. And as you could probably tell, you could actually buy this poster if you wanted to. It's on Bethesda's store. We could be getting a new trailer for Fallout 76 in a few days. The Tokyo Game Show had its lineup published just a couple of hours ago. On that, Bethesda Softworks is listed as showing Fallout 76 with a trailer. I wouldn't get too excited here. They obviously could just show us one of the older trailers yet again, or even give us a new You Will Emerge trailer, which are definitely interesting and cool, but they typically haven't included gameplay, at least some of the later ones. But for the particularly optimistic of you, hey, maybe we'll get some new gameplay of Fallout 76. The Tokyo Game Show is going on from September 20th to September 23rd. Four days ago, somebody tweeted at Pete Hines asking if we'll see any more news on Fallout 76, like gameplay or information drops before the beta starts. He responded, 
said yes to that, so could this be that new gameplay or this new information dump? I've been actually asked this question a lot and Pete Hines answered it. There is going to be no crossplay for Fallout 76, not between PC and Xbox One, and we already had confirmed, but not between PS4 and Xbox One. And actually on the topic of sleeping, we know in Fallout 76, a lot of the survival features are being implemented. I just kind of assume sleeping would be removed, but apparently it's not. Somebody asked what's the point of sleeping in Fallout 76 considering it's an always online game, and Pete Hines responded with, maybe you want the bonuses you can get from sleeping and being rested. Maybe you think your character is adorable and love to watch them sleep. In Fallout 4, if you sleep at a bed in a settlement, you'll get the well-rested perk for 12 hours that gave you plus 10% experience earned. Perhaps we'll see something similar in Fallout 76, although it's going to be pretty interesting. Like, do you just sit in the bed for a few minutes, then get out? Because obviously no time will pass because the game world can't change just because you get into bed. I don't know, either way, I'm quite curious as to how sleeping will work. And then finally, on the topic of beta dates, there's been a lot of like rumors and speculation in this area over the past week. And just to be clear, no random GameStop employee or no random Amazon call center employee is going to know the date of Fallout 76's beta. One Reddit thread speculating about this that actually was cited in a few articles got a response from a Bethesda employee, G-Staff Infection, and in that he actually said they're working on locking down dates for the beta and we should hear some news about it before the end of this month, so that being September. That's exciting, so hopefully we'll hear something in the next 10 or so days about when Fault 76's beta will actually be coming out. But to throw my own hat into the mix, I would speculate the beta will be on the earlier half of October, but that is going to be collecting feedback from the beta and having some time to actually implement that feedback into the game is obviously ideal. Fallout 76 comes out on November 14th, so I'm going to go out on a whim and assume the beta probably won't be the last week of October as a result of that. Either way, it's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys found it informative. There's a lot of various pieces of information. I just wanted to kind of put it all together into one. This is the final stretch. A month from now, it's very likely that at least some of us will be playing Fallout 76, and that's really exciting. I know some of you guys are getting burnt out on these videos, so I'm not going to really be making many more until we have some real pieces of info. If we get a trailer in the next couple of days, I'll definitely cover that. But as far as covering just one-off tweets, I'm probably going to be avoiding that and focusing more on real game info as we get it from Bethesda. As always, again, I thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys all next time. Later.